Okay, so I've already cut the tops of the bell peppers off and I've cleaned out the innards, okay? So next what I'm gonna do is I'm going to chop up The next thing is to chop up the tomatoes. So I'm gonna cut the end caps off. The recipe calls for one bag of bird's eye rice cauliflower with some mushrooms. This is about a cup of mushrooms. About a cup of shredded cheese. And about, I said one fourth cup of mozzarella cheese. The mozzarella cheese is gonna go on the outside as a nice topping. Okay, and next I'm going to roughly chop. Okay, look at this. This is beautiful. Look at these peppers. They're steamy, nice and steamy. The recipe, the recipe calls for four peppers, but I'm just gonna use two because this is gonna be me. This is a meal made for, for one person. Okay, so now I'm gonna set the peppers to the side. Well guys, it's time to eat. Look at this. Look at how wonderfully it turned out. Okay, now it's time to taste this. Wow, look at this. I'm not sure if you can tell. Let's see, show you. I think it turned out pretty good. Okay, now it's time for the taste test. 
This is perfect. I'm glad that I put the bell peppers in the microwave for about two minutes because it would the skin would have been a little bit more tougher. But as I eat this, it's really, um, it's just right. It's really juicy. Now that for the cauliflower. Hmm. This is my first time making this. And I'm so glad that I didn't use real rice, that I used cauliflower rice for this. It's perfect without the rice in it. So, just to go down the list of ingredients. So it was uh, bird's eye riced cauliflower. I used cheddar cheese. I used Paprika, garlic powder, a little pepper, mushrooms. Then I put, um, then I sauteed it all together, and then I threw in the onions last. You didn't see that on screen, but I added the onions in last so that I could have a little bit of snap to it. And so then I mixed everything together, and then I took the the bell peppers that had been um, microwaved for about two minutes, and then I stuffed them with the, the filling. And then I topped it off with the bacon first, and then the mozzarella cheese, and then I baked it in the oven at about 350 for about 35 to 40 minutes. Um, would I change anything about the dish? No, I don't think so. I think it turned out pretty well. Now, uh, the spices are going to be different for everyone. Um, so you can use sausage in here, ground uh, sausage. You can use uh, ground beef. But I chose to use ground turkey. That was the one thing I didn't mention. I used uh, ground turkey as the, as the protein. So all in all, I think it turned out pretty well. Mm. And I would recommend this. Mm -hmm. It's really good. The bacon, the bacon gives it a little extra pop at the end. Kind of like that smoky, bacony uh, flavor. Along with the cheese, the cheddar cheese and the mozzarella. It's perfect. So I hope you enjoyed the show today. And um, tip number one that you can use rice cauliflower in place of rice. This would make a very good keto dish because it lacks starch. So, I'm glad that you were watched me today. And if you have any questions, please put the comments down below. And um, until next time, bye. Today, before I get started with making the, the before I get started, it's important to go ahead and soften up the bell peppers. I'm going to put the bell peppers in the microwave for about, mm, I would say about two minutes so they can uh, soften up and it'll cook back, uh, faster and, the, and it will be a lot more tender, the skin will be tender. I'm going to cook it for about two minutes so that the skin will soften and that the skin will be tender and you can cut through it easier. Well, I'm going to go ahead and cook this. I'm going to go ahead and microwave this for two minutes so that the skin won't be so tough.